Hey, what's up guys? It's Umish Day 3 here bringing you a top dog number 8. Uh, congrats to last week's winners. It was I Am Improbable and a Rabbit Tourist. So this first map here is called Tempest and it's made by DJV Razor. And let's just take a second here. Do, 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 do. Wow, what a jump. And then followed again by another of the same style. Oh, God, this map is ridiculous. Uh, DJV Razor is probably my favorite roller coaster forger. I've probably said that before, but yeah, it is amazing. Um, so this map, as you can see, is very uh, intertwined with itself, and you know you can cheat some sections, but it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> this map is kind of amazing. All the pieces are colored. It seems like um, all the turns work. There's none that are too hard. Uh, the only problem really is that. You know, that jump at the beginning, you can hit some rocks and it'll mess you up a little bit. But it's not that big a deal. Uh, this map, again, is kind of amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's compatible with racetracks and all that good stuff. Um, hey, DJV Razor, if you're watching this, please make the uh, spawn time on your mongooses not 30 seconds or whatever. Please change that to one second. <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's compatible with racetracks and, uh, you know, it's got all this stuff. And it's kind of cool that you don't have to go back and do the huge jump at the beginning. Uh, it just loops around here and then starts back over. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, the second map here is called Foundation, and it is made by Private Parts. Private Parts is also an amazing forger. We got three powerhouse forges in this top dog, which is kind of crazy. Um, he said he wanted to make this one to uh, go back to the foundry days of people forging, you know, Halo 3 style in the uh, the box that was foundry. And uh, this map is actually really good. It's a double wide squeezed into this little tiny area. Uh, it's really impressive. Um, all the turns are... You know they've got um, they've got railings on them so you can't fall off. If you can find a way to die on this map, I would just be very surprised. Um, it's fun even if you've got you know a billion people on it. It's never it never seems really too crowded except I guess at the very beginning. Um, it's just really impressive that you can manage to fit all of this and you know it was built well all in this little tiny area. And of course it's compatible with racetracks as you can see. So now our third and final map is made by Envisions, and it is called Menace. And uh, this first drop here, there are a lot of people who struggle with that and die immediately, but this track is amazing. Um, it's a, a roller coaster, and it's really intense. Uh, he's got this style where his jumps are more of just drops, and they're very, very, not vertical, um, really steep drops. Uh, a lot of people struggle with that one there at the very beginning. Um, and then at that second one that was also really big because they would get stuck in the shield door. But those are minor problems. Uh, the rest of the track's really awesome. I like how he's got the uh, objects bobbing up and down um, in these gravity volumes here. You can hit those and you get screwed up a little bit and flip over. Uh, this last section was a little weird, but it was kind of cool, I guess. Uh, it was sort of strange, but uh, don't drive too far to the left here because the gravity volumes keep you on. If you're on the left, you'll kind of die. I did that on my first lap. Um, and then it ends with a teleporter, which can mess you up if you've got um, a, a laggy game. But that's all I got for you guys for now, so please go down in the comments below and give a thumbs up to one of my comments. Um, if you're on your phone or something, feel free to comment and say, I vote for this, because uh, I can take those into consideration. Uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys later.